So for this first track, you know, I'm just trying to craft an intro. And on the Analog 4, what I had before was kind of an LFO that was on the filter frequency of the kind of the synth riff and just kind of bringing it in and out while we had some kind of atmospheric kind of random synth hits kind of coming in and out. You can hear what this is what it sounds like. This is kind of that synth riff. It's pretty prominent, right? So I, I want to kind of background it more. All right, so let's let's see here, the lossy. <laughs> here, we can turn down the loss a little bit. Let's turn on the loss. That's pretty cool. Right, and but I actually want it to get a little bit more darker, a little bit darker. Let's bring in the atmospherics. I've got it on the, the packets right now, so if I turn kind of the packets off, you can kind of hear the, the, the original riff a little bit better there. Two still straight right here. I don't have any of the switches on right now, but let's just switch modes. Turn this up a little bit. So you can see the, the last mode there. There's a lot of noise on that one. I don't remember the name of this mode, packets mode offhand, but it's giving me a little bit more. I'll well, turn up the speed a little bit, but you know, I guess turn up the last one. A little bit full global. Alright, and so. I think I like it on the first packet's move the best. get to full loss it basically turns into almost another, another thing all together there the whole point of that is just to be able to go into to the main riff right so I kind of like this better than just a regular free, uh, filter ship, filter suite you know although it's got some of that in there too Signed up for a free trial, 30 year trial at Goodhertz for the Lossy. It actually comes with all of their plugin suite, and you can kind of pick and choose which ones you want to activate. Uh, I'll probably try some of the other ones later, but for today, I just activated the Lossy. And as you can see, we've got so it looks fairly similar to the pedal. The only thing that's I'm kind of missing here, right off the top of my I'm not familiar with the plugin, so. Um, the thing that seems to be missing right off the bat are the packets mode, right? And 
Nope, looks like we got it right here. Uh, so we've got standard and inverse, right? So that's our, our kind of mode here. Um, looks like we have some phase jitter. Then we got packet loss, packet repeat. So it looks like we're all set here. So let's go ahead and just start on it. I'm going to try and match this first, right? So it looks like I have a uh, packet repeat there and standard mode, right? So. So let's say standard and packet repeat. Uh, let's start turning up the amounts. Looks like almost all the way, right? Okay, that's kind of interesting. The speed is probably up to about there, 75% or so. So Reaver was about 40%. And I don't know how to translate the filter. I don't know how to translate the filter to... So let's just... Let's go about there. I think it's about 6% slope is what it looks like there. Um, and let's go... I think we're about, let's say, 80%. Because that's where we were at previously. I think we're about there previously. So yeah, so this is kind of cold. Mm. But you know, I don't know how close I am, really. It's kind of hard to translate the two, especially with a plugin I'm not really familiar with. So I think that's general roundabout where I was with the pedal. I don't know if I prefer it over the pedal, so let's just keep digging into it. See what I can do with this. Let's go with packet repeat. Yeah, it sounds a bit more bit crunched, honestly, on the on this version. And I'm gonna go ahead and zip down this thing here. Let's see. I feel like the the effects of your changes here are a little bit more drastic than the pedal. Sometimes when I go to pack and repeat, um, the knobs don't seem to be as responsive as what I'm seeing here on the plugin. And I don't know, maybe it's just the interface me kind of hanging out with this mouse here, but it doesn't move me the same way, you know? So that could just be an interface thing. But when I'm playing around with a mouse and clicking, it just doesn't give me the same feels, it doesn't give me the same vibes. And that's why hardware is so important to me. But I'm gonna keep messing with this. Let's try to go with uh, phase jitter. So there's that noise that I'm kind of used to, that kind of white noise that you hear with the phase jitter mode. And of course, the higher you turn velocity, the more prominent that becomes. Uh, this is kind of like the global knob here, right? This velocity to dry there is kind of like the global knob. Uh, while I'm here, let's go ahead and try the packet loss. That's kind of cool. It sounds a little bit more broken up than I'm used to hearing on the pedal. I mean, maybe it's just because I'm hitting different settings than I do on the pedal. Maybe it's because I can be a little bit more granular on my movements with the mouse. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. And we can kind of narrow, get darken up the sound a little bit. Maybe even increase the slope. You have a lot more control over the slope here. As you can see, you can go by, you know, decibel by decibel versus here it looks like it's you're into like a 612 and or maybe 624 and uh, 96 db on the slope there uh, 
Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. It's cool. It's okay. You know, but again, I'm a hardware kind of guy, so I feel like it's easier for me to dial in the sounds with the pedal than it is with the plug-in so far.